What's the deal, y'all? Now, today, I want to give y'all five things that, in my opinion, you must do daily to help protect you from the enemy. And these five things I'm going to give y'all are just things that are going to help keep you at that high vibration. Because as we all know, the enemy is extremely low vibrational. So the more you can stay in that high vibration, the less access he will have to you. And these things I'm going to give y'all are things that I do religiously every single day or as consistently as I can. I try to do them every single day and I have found that it has helped protect me from the enemy, from whoever they are. You see what I'm saying? And this is, in my opinion, the most important video that I've made on my channel. So I would appreciate it if you like this video, if you shared this video so it can reach as many people as possible because my channel, I, you know what I mean? I started this channel just so I can help um, people help wake people up and help, you know what I mean, people get to the place that they want to get to, help people live the life that they want to live. See what I'm saying? So if this is your first time on my channel, subscribe to the channel, uh, turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. I try to post as consistently as possible. I appreciate it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about and the first thing I do to start my day every single day, a lot of times before I even get out of bed, man, is meditate. And when I say meditate, I'm not meaning go sit in a corner, cross your legs and have your hands a certain type of way. If that's what you want to do, that's cool. But when I say meditate, man, I'm I'm really meaning just clearing your mind, getting rid of that voice, all the chatter that we all have, uh, trying to quiet your conscious mind as much as possible and staying present because the enemy's biggest weapon is trying to pull us back to thinking about the past about what happened yesterday so we can replay you know what i mean the things that's how you keep us in a cycle by always pulling us back to our past back to our trauma back to the habits that we've had for so long back to the toxic things we've had for so long he tried to keep us in that identity the the only real thing we have the only time that we actually have man is the moment that we're in right now so the better you can feel in the moment, the more positive you can feel in the moment and the more present you can be, the better you're going to feel. And the better you feel, the better you're going to attract. See what I'm saying? Your thoughts create an emotion and your emotion um, creates a vibration. And that vibration is like a magnet that is going to attract to you the things that you want in the future. So try to clear your mind every single day. Um, to start the day preferably so you can i mean feel good you can vibrate on the level that you're supposed to be at and the enemy can't mess with you when you're not thinking you know what i mean about the things the bad things that happened you know what i mean how you were sick how you were had how you had that problem last week yesterday the more you can stay present man the better it will be for you now the second thing i want to talk about is eating the right foods another one of the enemy's biggest weapon is trying to get us to eat low vibrational foods because you become what you eat and when you're eating low vibrational foods you become a low vibrational person and that's when the enemy can you know what i mean do basically what he wants to you and when you know this you will understand why whenever you go to a gas station whenever you go to a grocery store they have candy they have all type of processed sugars, all type of sweets, things that's going to lower your vibration. Um, that's why whenever you go um, on main roads, it's nothing but fast food because they want us so bad. The enemy is praying you eat those foods daily, praying you put that into your body because it's going to lower your vibration. And when you are on a low vibration, that's when he can do what he wants with you. So try your best to change your diet try your best to eat the right foods and drink you know what i mean as much water as you can take out all of the processed drinks all of the sodas all of the lemonades juice more and drink as much water as you possibly can because when you think about it man we are you know what i mean it's the exact same thing as the universe we are the exact same thing as this world we're made up of 70 percent water and most people a lot of people are not drinking enough water throughout the day. 
This is something that I start doing over the last year and it changed everything. My thoughts are clear. I, I just feel a lot better, man. So if you are not eating the right foods, if you are eating a lot of sugar, I know it's hard. I had a bad diet, man, for a long time, for damn near my whole life. So I know how hard it is. But once you know why the enemy wants us and why he needs us to eat bad foods, you will it will make it a lot easier for you to let I me mean, fight that and try to change your diet and eat the right things now the third thing i want to talk about is my favorite thing to do is a thing that actually led me to changing my diet led me to meditating and actually led me to make this youtube channel and that's affirmations telling yourself what you are before you become it and saying it as you are already it so Whatever it is, man, I am powerful. I am um, healthy. I am whatever it is you want to be. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am abundant. Telling yourself that all day, every day, well, as much as you possibly can, man. You don't have to say it out loud, but if you say it out loud, it's, a much, it's much more powerful. But throughout your day, man, when you're in the car, just talk to yourself. Affirm to yourself what you want to be before you become it. And what you're going to start to notice is the more you say it, you're just programming your subconscious mind. We're all just high functioning computers. So the more you instill that affirmation, those affirmations into your subconscious mind, you're going to notice you start doing things different. You may start waking up earlier. You're going to start to do things that you didn't do before and it's going to become natural. So if you're affirming to yourself that you're a millionaire, you're going to start to do things that millionaires do. You're going to start to work harder. You're not going to need as much sleep. You're going to start to get ideas to start a business. A lot of things are going to start to change. If you want to be healthy, you're going to come across information, things like this, telling you that you need to drink more water. A lot of people are not as healthy as they want to be because they aren't drinking enough water. Something that simple can change your health. You see what I'm saying? So the more you affirm, the quicker um, you're gonna start to be believe the affirmation that you're saying. It's gonna feel weird. You might not believe it um, at first, depending on how far you're away from that thing you wanna become. It's gonna take a little time, but I guarantee you, if you keep going, you're gonna start to believe it. And once you start to believe it, you're there you see what i'm saying so the third thing is affirmations do it as much as you possibly can every single day because when you're affirming positive things and you're talking to yourself positive positively every single day that is going to keep you on a high vibration as well now the fourth thing i want to talk about is get enough rest people don't put enough emphasis on sleeping you should sleep as much as you can or not even as much as you can you should get as much as you need you know how much sleep you need you should never be going to sleep at honestly i don't think anybody should be sleeping past 11 p.m but obviously we have different lifestyles we have and we all have different jobs but you should be trying to go to bed as early as you can and as early that makes sense for you because um, throughout our sleep with a lot of different rhythms and cycles we go through that are extremely important that is going to help us be and feel our best the next day. The enemy loves when we are tired because when you're tired, you're weak. Your willpower isn't strong. So that's when the enemy comes in and throws those ideas into your head to do something you shouldn't be doing. That's when the enemy, you know what I mean, tells you, go here, eat this, do that. See what I'm saying? So when we aren't getting enough sleep, the enemy loves that. So try to get as much sleep as you possibly can, as much rest as you possibly can, as you need, and try to go to sleep as early as possible. Now, the fifth thing I want to talk about and the last thing, and is probably the most important and the hardest thing to do. That's why I left at the end. So if you made it to the end of the video put a little emoji sign um so i know that you're locked in and i know that you're you know what i mean paying attention and trying to level up and trying to better yourself and the fifth thing is denying your flesh as much as possible 
So if you like to eat sweets, try to deny yourself for as long as you possibly can, it's going to be hard. It's going to be extremely hard, but the willpower you gain from that puts you on another level. And the, the mindset and what it does to your mind, it makes you feel like you can do anything. When you deny yourself from, from sex and things like that, all my, my, my men that watch my channel, when you do semen retention, bro, it is extremely powerful because you're denying yourself of one of the greatest pulls that a man can have. So denying the flesh, man, from all the things that you want to do, all the things that you used to do that you know you can go without, that you know is going to help you build that willpower. See what I'm saying? So if you made it to the end of this video, drop a like, man, leave a comment, leave some inspiration for me, some inspiration for anybody that's watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you made it to this point, put in the lock and emoji like a little the little lock symbol y'all know what i'm talking about so i know that you're locked in um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time i drop a video i appreciate y'all man and i'm out